Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit my YouTube channel today. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend. I've got four days off, which is fantastic. I'm going to try and get caught up on some of my art and craft projects. So um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this bin of jewelry. I won it in an online auction at shopgoodwill.com and it was listed online incorrectly. Uh, so it's 5.4 pounds of beaded macrame jewelry, um, mason jar lot. It's not macrame because I used to do beaded macrame jewelry. Um, I've also done a lot of CB jewelry. This is all CB jewelry, like the Native American style. Um, I kind of got out of making it myself because as I get older, I'll be 60 years old at the end of the year. You know, my eyesight's not what it used to be. My hand-eye coordination isn't what it used to be. But, you know, back in the day, I did quite a bit. That's one of my pieces. And it's a beaded needle case. That's in a book. And there's this competition for the Miyuki Delica beads that I entered. And... I didn't win, but they did a two-piece spread on um, this piece I submitted. It's this beaded amulet bag, some dolphins and beaded beads. So when I saw this jar, I was like, I, I really, even though I don't make it myself anymore, I really love this style of the handcrafted stuff. And it's really, uh, from what I'm seeing online, starting to come back in popularity. So, um, you know, looking at it, I already see some items that are going to go straight to crafts, but I think there's quite a few nice beaded pieces that um, I can offer for sale. I might even keep a few for myself, but just here's some more of my work. I've got this big portfolio of stuff I used to do back in the day, but um, maybe I'll show this portfolio off in another video in the future. <laughs> So before we get cracking on this jar of beaded CB jewelry, uh, here's my housekeeping. If um, you haven't already to subscribe to my channel, um, you know, I appreciate if you take a moment to subscribe. That way it lets me know if people are actually watching these videos and I'll continue to create content. There's also this notification bell. If you click that, you'll be notified anytime I have new content to watch. Um, most of this stuff, I'm not sure if I'm going to list it on eBay or Etsy. Um, but if you ever see anything in this or any of my videos that you're interested in, and you don't see it on my eBay or Etsy stores, reach out to me, sales at thecreativecottage.net. Let me know which video you're watching, the timestamp of the item or items you're interested in, and we'll, uh, we can start the conversation. So, let's get cracking. I hope I can do this all in a single video and not have to break it up into two videos. So this first piece, this beautiful kind of earth tone uh, bracelet, it's kind of wrapped sea beads, tiny sea beads on this cuff. Let's see if I can get this on. That's nice. And, ooh, this kind of coordinates well. Same sort of color, same sort of seed beads, but um, a slightly different type of bangle. This one I'm not sure if I can get on. I Although I have kind of small wrists, I have big hands. And sometimes I have a problem. Yeah, I mean, I could probably get it on, but I don't want to force it. But see, this coordinates. You could stack these together. Those are awesome. Awesome, awesome. So another thing I like about the, the CB jewelry, it's usually one of a kind. Uh, so you're not going to see, it's not mass produced. Uh, hand, handmade, one of kind, artisan. Here's a really cool bracelet. It's two-tone, kind of amber, um, translucent amber and opaque black beads. And it's got a couple of sections of kind of this kind of a, like a netting pattern, and then the, it goes into strands. 
and then it goes back into the netting pattern and strands, multiple strands. Very nice. And here's the closure, and it's so it's adjustable, just like a little beaded bead, and some loops. So it has three loops, so you can adjust the length. But I thought that was really nice. Put that here. And this looks like a loom woven bracelet. Uh, those pictures I just showed you of some of the pieces I've done, I did a lot of loom woven work in the past where I did some my own patterns, different floral designs. This is just uh, one color of bead, kind of a navy bead. And again, the closure are loops with the beaded balls. And this is adjustable. You can put it on either of the loops. So that's nice. That looks like in good shape. Probably see beads really because it's handmade. Um, Sometimes it wears out if they didn't use a strong thread or if it's older. So um, I'm expecting that there's going to be quite a few pieces in this lot that I won't be able to sell. So I'll determine if maybe I'll bundle that all up into a craft lot, you know, to use the beads for other pieces or to repair. This is cool. This is what they call the daisy chain. Um, it looks like a little flower. And they just made it into a bracelet. And the same, I'm wondering the same person made a lot of this because the clasp on a lot of these pieces are similar. And like these two bracelets, I'm guessing were made by the same person. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So that's cool. Nice little daisy chain beaded bracelet. And this I'll probably put into crafts or I'm also doing a children's jewelry lot more for um, pieces I could use for dress up. So um, that lot won't contain anything broken, but just, you know, this is just what, like an eyeglass chain, but that might be fun for dress up, you know, you could loop it around or do whatever you want with that. These are just plastic beads, so nothing special. Here's another bracelet. I like this one's memory wire. Ooh. So multiple stacks of translucent orange beads and the bigger, um, I think those are size six seed beads, these bigger ones. So that's cool. And again, you know, you could wear these all together, the orange ones, just stack them up. <laughs> Fun. I also have this jar. The plastic. Ooh, here's something I've done. So this is a beaded amulet bag. I used to be obsessed with amulet bags. This is actually done. It's peyote stitch, tubular peyote stitch. And this one's quite tiny. But you could fit like, uh, not a credit card, but you could, you know... Fold a couple of dollars in half, uh, maybe put a single key in there, and it's on this long twisted chain, fits over the head, lots of great fringe, that's in really good condition, nice pattern. Yeah, I used to go crazy with the fringe when I made the amulet bags, let me see if I can find a couple real quick in my portfolio. Yeah. So here's a couple of the amulet bags I made. These are my own original designs. Tons of fringe. Here's another one. This had a sliding lid. It's like a sort of orchid pattern. And then this one was a hummingbird. <laughs> so I really appreciate uh, this jar of handmade items. It took a lot of work. Oh, what is this? This is like a layer. This is for glasses also. So, you know, this is the typical eyeglass holder where it's got the two loops. But this one, you put the actual glasses folded in half. I think this has a magnetic chain. 
So this stuff I'll, I would light up. I don't think there's a lot of val value in these like single beaded chains. But if you light them up either as a craft light or a dress up light for kids, it might be fun. And it's just plain black beaded bracelet. It's got a little hook and eye clasp. That's like what you would use to make clothing, that type of hook and eye. Is it not focusing today? I think some days it focuses, other days it doesn't want to focus. Hmm. That's my light. Okay. What's next? So this, I'm sure, was made by the same person. This uh, little choker or bib necklace. This chain is the same type of beads and the same pattern as that bracelet I just showed you. And these are bugle beads and the same sort of clasp. What I like about CB jewelry, it's quite lightweight. It's not, um, you know, how some gemstone jewelry or metal jewelry can, can kind of get a little bit on the heavy side. This stuff you could layer and stack multiple pieces together with no problem. Ooh. Let's see. Do I have two pieces in here? I do. So again, this piece I would put like in a craft lot or maybe a children's jewelry lot. Just a little chain of sea beads and a little beaded flower. This is more like that daisy chain pattern I showed you in that other bracelet. Here's a cool piece. Very long. The top is braided strands of opaque red and translucent amber sea beads finished by these bead caps lobster class with an extender I'm guessing this is quite old this is a little bit worn and then more bead caps and then the strands of beads keel that one gonna put on here yeah there you go Ooh, this one's cool Got some shells, some frosted aqua sea beads. Uh, oh, what are these? Like the little evil eye beads. Kind of little open chain pattern with the sea beads. And oh, barrel class. Let's see. Does this work? Yep. Let's see if I can get that closed. So again, like I said, this is all handmade, artisan, CB, um, jewelry. You're not going to see this in any catalogs. That was my thing when I made uh, the CB jewelry, the fused glass jewelry. I don't think I ever did any production stuff. I all did one of a kind. And for me, I struggled on the earrings because I would make one earring. And it's like, well, I already did it. I, don't, I, I didn't want to make the second earring, but no, I did make a lot of earrings. Back in the day, I used to sell at the craft shows, the art shows, mostly outdoor shows where you had to set up your tent and, oh, that's a pain in the, pain in the butt when you had bad weather. Some shows were indoors, but now here's what I consider more of a traditional Native American style CB piece. Um, the colors and the pattern and it's lined with leather. Uh, this is more like bead embroidery, and then it's got that same kind of daisy chain with white and blue seed beads, and it's quite long, so this chain fits over your neck. It doesn't need a clasp. Ooh, pink. This is fun. This is just like a beaded spiral rope. Uh, larger beads, like the size E6 E beads, 
And these are like the size 11 seed beads and it's got a barrel clasp. Kind of a pearlescent pink color. Yeah. Ooh, this is a ring. <laughs> I think there's ma matching pieces in here. I was looking at this jar last night. I think that has, this has a matching pair of earrings and a matching necklace. That's different. Almost looks like crochet, but um, it's made out of teeny tiny seed beads. These are real small. I think these are not size 11. What's the next size? Like size 15? Again, that's why I don't do the seed bead jewelry anymore. Just look how stinking tiny those beads are. <laughs> I just got to the point where even with reading glasses and lights and magnifying things, I just oof, had a hard time seeing. Here's another uh, bangle bracelet. This one's red with some turquoise, yellow, white, and black. Nice. Ooh, and another one. Red and multicolors. So these you could stack. Wear these together. This one I don't think I could get on. No, that one's tiny. This one I could probably fit. But then the problem is, because my wrists are so small, it's big enough to fit over my hand, but then I don't really like the bracelets that are that big. I could wear it halfway up my arm. <laughs> and this one, probably the right size for my wrist, but yeah, I can't get that over my big knuckles and big bear paw hand. <laughs> Well, this is fun, Sal. So even though I said there's probably quite a few pieces I'm going to either put into a craft or a children's lot, um, I think there's still quite a few wearable pieces. I mean, I, I still have to do a little bit more research. It's hard to determine prices on these pieces because they're one-of-a-kind artisan pieces. It's not like, oh, this is a Leah Sophia. I can do a Google Lens and, you know, see what people are selling these on eBay. I just guess I'll look on Macari, Poshmark, Etsy, eBay for CB jewelry and to kind of get an average rate. Um, oh, this is nice. I used to make a lot of these. The loom woven beaded bracelet. This is a really nice pattern. It looks like a big flower and some leaves. Really cool. And so here's the closure. Just kind of little beaded beads and then it's got three loops so this is adjustable size very nice and it's comfortable to wear um i like the cuff bracelets that fit closer to my wrist so they're not flopping around um just flat loom woven beads and it doesn't weigh much that's why i have a problem wearing a lot of the jewelry it gets too heavy and I end up taking it off before the end of the day. It's like, throw it off of me. Oh, here's a whole tangle that, um, yeah, that I don't even know if I would put into crafts. It looks like a crinkly mess of beads that, oh, maybe it's supposed to be a bracelet that you tie it on. That's tiny and I don't like this kind of just tied on style. So, that would probably go into crafts. This, I don't even know. Is this a piece to wear or is this just the... Some sea beads come in what they call hanks. It's just strands of beads and then you're supposed to cut them up. Oh, no. This is a finished piece. Just found this. <laughs> so, it's got some bee caps and a lobster claw clasp. But it's just strands of beads. They didn't really add anything to it. Um... And again, it's kind of tangled. I would just put that in crafts and if you want to untangle it. But this is the kind of piece I would more um, use this in other projects. I would harvest these beads and use them in other projects. I don't go for this look of just strands of meat. Because this looks like the hanks, the bead hanks that I would used to buy <laughs> wholesale. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
Not my thing. Ooh, this one's kind of fun. I think I used to do this style. It's just, you do one single strand of beads and then you come back and do loops of beads. So kind of multi aqua color and the same sort of clasp as all these other ones having or using. I would usually use a regular clasp or a button to finish my pieces because see how this one's a little bit difficult to get on. This loop, I'm almost afraid you're going to break it. So for that reason, I would put this I would put this in either crafts or like a children's jewelry lot if they want to play dress up, cool, but um, yeah. Again, crafts, it's just a single strand of beads on elastic. Um, and you don't, when you don't know the age of the pieces, this elastic, although it's easy to get on and off, it ends up getting brittle and losing its elasticity after a while and I've had these pieces where as soon as you do this just it breaks <laughs> and then it's bead you're draining beads everywhere so oh look I've got it tangled yeah so that would be crafts or children's dress up um, this is just uh, the bigger beads like the size 6 or the size 8 Sea beads. It has a barrel clasp, little dolphin charm that I would just I would put this one in the children's lot. Uh, just kind of crinkly the way the beads hang. So yeah, I'm just thinking I'm gonna do a big lot of this for I'll say it could be children's or crafting or whatever. Um. Yeah, maybe 10 bucks, 20 bucks, all depends on how much I end up with. And then that way if the pieces break, no big deal, because you didn't really pay that much money. <laughs> it's kind of like dress up, you know, like kids who are adults now, like kids will play dress up with like thrift store clothes and, you know, if the clothes fell apart or they got st stained or torn or whatever, no big deal, because you didn't pay a lot of money for them. Uh, this looks like it is starting to come apart. Unfortunately, this was a nice necklace. Blue and white beads. And then these little bead netted patterns. But unfortunately, it looks like it's uh, starting to fray. The cord looks like it's starting to fray. So that would be in a craft lot. See, I'm doing this little pile of craft lot down here. Really make it a dent in this. Ooh, these are nice color, like Jamaican flag colors. Little netted collar, like choker, um, little shells at the end of the fringe, and then ooh, that class. Is that gonna be secure? It's a real tiny little. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Cool, cool. Oops, there you go. Oh, I can't see the box anymore though. Is that better? <laughs> well, these are fun. These are not sea beads. These are, um, what do you call these? The teardrop beads. So when I list these, I will get measurements of everything. Uh, unless I'm selling it in a big lot. Just like kind of pink and cranberry and kind of clear teardrops a uh, little silver tone chain with a lobster clasp but that's tiny so again I'll have to measure that but that might end up in a children's lot not because it's, it's not falling apart but it's just small or it looks small to me um, this is going into the crafts. This is another, uh, 
what do you call it, for your eyeglasses, I think. Just dark amber, some bigger glass beads, and there's a little, I guess you put the ends of your eyeglasses in there. I don't know. And see, I've got a lot of these just plain chains and this kind of stuff. Like, it's going into the children's crafting lot. Just orange and red, but it, the elastic cord. Don't know how long that's going to last. Oh, this one actually had, that we looked at before actually has a sticker made in China. But the rest of this stuff looks like, you know, handmade. Oops, this one, let me see. This might go into the crafting lot. I think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's kind of falling apart here. I think it's supposed to be twisted, but let's see if I can fix this. Twister, twister, twister. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get this closed. There we go. Yeah, no, it's just kinking and doing all kinds of weird things. So this is going to crafts or the dress up lot. Same with this. It's just multicolor seed beads. It doesn't even have a clasp. And it's all... Like, when they did it, the tension is not right. It's all crinkly, like they pulled the thread too tight or something. So, I don't even know how to fix that. But could be fun to use for dress-up. <laughs> uh, yeah, like this is falling apart or the string's starting to come undone. So, again, I would call this more for crafting because it's just a plain strand of seed beads. Um... They're the kind of greasy, pink opal -y color. So nice beads, but I would just cut them off this strand and use them in individual projects. Mix them up with some other colors. How long have we been so far? Oh, we're running about half an hour. Maybe this might be two parts. So here's one of the earrings. Yeah, I knew this lot. There's a necklace, earrings, and a ring. I'm not sure if there's a bracelet also. So we looked at this earlier, the ring, and here's one of the earrings. So I'll have to look for the other earring. So for now, we'll put it right here. And, yep, I think this is the bracelet. Same color, same pattern. So here's the bracelet. So this one I'll probably sell as a set. Not that you necessarily would wear all four four pieces, yeah, four pieces together at once, but um gives you options. And again, two loops so you can change the size. I just really like these colors and I like this beading. Unlike some seed bead work that looks like it's gonna fall apart, like all the items in my crafting lot. This is real really well made. Um, good quality and as I mentioned earlier I used to make a lot of this type of stuff myself so you can kind of tell the difference between mass produced in China or handmade one at a time um, artisan work that's just that's beautiful 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 and the necklace oh my god yeah I might want to keep this look at this so this is the necklace that goes with the ring, the earrings, and the bracelet. I can't remember what this technique. I want to say netting, but I don't think that's what it is. Look at this. It's just like a 3D flower. So well made. It's got the twisted fringe. And it's got a beautiful neck strap. And then they made it thinner on the back to be more comfortable and not tangle up in your hair. And then here's the closure. Yeah. I used to do beaded flowers years ago. Let me see if I can, not that technique. Let me see if I can find in my portfolio. Um, I used to have a store when my, oh, my daughter was barely walking and she's in her late twenties now. I used to have a bead store 
in Boynton Beach, Florida, and I would teach classes, and I love teaching classes, and that's how you end up with a bead store. Everybody be like, okay, so now you taught me how to make this. Where did I get all the beads? Oh, well, come back for me. So here's a couple of flowers I've made in the past. A little bit different. I think I did uh, use peyote stitch for mine. That's not what this is. This is, I can't think of the name. Having a senior moment. Because I haven't made beaded jewelry in so long. I can't think of the name. If anybody can remember it before I look it up, just leave me a comment. Another simple beaded bracelet. Pink and aqua. There's the closure. And two loops, so it's adjustable size. Ooh, see, I wonder if this is the same person made this. This is that same technique. Now, different colorway. This is kind of like... Oh, it's like root beer, or that might be amethyst and aqua and bronze. But it's the same technique. Let's see all the other stuff we were looking at before. I just think this is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Oh, I think I found the other earring for the set. And there it is. Yay. More strands of beads going into crafting. I don't even... But yeah, to me, this is just a strand of beads. This doesn't have a clasp or anything. So this is more like craft supplies, not a finished piece. But, or, you know, like I said, the, this could be for dress up too, for kids. You could just tie it together. Kids, you know, have fun playing with beads. And then that way they're not getting into your collection of beads and jewelry. They can have their own little collection. Oh, this is cool. It's just, um, what is this, bugle beads? Uh, looks like loom woven bugle beads on the stretchy cord. Again, like right now, this looks really in good condition. The stretchy is um, not wearing out. I, see, I like this better. If I'm going to wear a bracelet, I don't like those looser bracelets that slip up and down your arm. I think because I write full-time during the day, um, it's like a Wonder Woman power cuff. I need another one. <laughs> I really like that. Hmm. I usually don't go for the stretchy cord bracelets, but that one's quite interesting. I think I could wear that and not get annoyed by the end of the day. Here's another Luma moving bracelet. Earlier looked at a solid navy colored one. This one is in red tones, so I might lock them up. That's kind of cool. That's cool. This is like the little netting, beaded netting, where you do the single strand of beads and then you come back and you do this is probably one two it's probably three one two like three or four rows of the loops to get this netting effect i used to do this back in the day and here's the closure a little faceted crystal a b bead and the loop over here and it's all just one color, kind of a white pearl color with these little drops at the end. <laughs> and here's something else I would put in crafts. I don't even know if it's wearable or what. It's all tangled. I don't see any class. So, so do, this looks like a hand could see beads that somebody just tied a knot in. I mean, I guess you could get this over your head, but it's all like tangled. I'm like either use this for dress up or cut cut these strands up and use them in your own projects because that's like a whole hank of beads. Yeah, I can already see in my craft pile that some of these strands are starting to come apart so this might be crafts and this is going into crafts 
it's all falling apart. It's just a single strand of blue beads. Um, this is also going to crafts just orange sea beads and some actual seeds. These look like those brown things look like actual seeds. A little tassel, but the thread's starting to, you see, it's getting kind of falling apart. Well, not falling apart, but I just think at some point the thread's going to wear out. This is nice. It's a uh, tiny turquoise colored sea beads and then just sections of this white, brick red, and black. Uh, multiple strands that are twisted together. No clasp, but you can easily fit that over your head. Very nice condition. So let me know in the comments, are you a fan of CB jewelry? Do you think it's too funky, too hippy-dippy, too homemade looking? Um, I, I like it. Uh, you know, nobody ends up buying this stuff for me. No big deal. I'll have a nice collection. <laughs> uh, this is what looks um, more the Native American style. Uh, the little shells. This is a little piece of like suede. Um, and then multiple strands of opaque yellow and blue sea beads. Very long, can fit right over your head. Doesn't have a clasp. What's this? Oh, this is nice. Just, um, oops, is that magnetic clasp or is that a clasp that's um, falling apart? Hang on, looks like an old barrel clasp. Looks quite old, quite dull. Yeah. It's kind of these uh, pearly white and bronze beads, little glass, some bronze bead caps, multiple strands. Mm, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I think the clasp is giving out, so this might end up in crafts. I'll have to take a better look at it when I'm deciding what to do with all these individual pieces. You know, I'm going to Take a better look at everything, measure stuff, uh, and make the final determination of where to put everything. This is beautiful. This is another bead netted piece where they did that um, beading technique that some of those other bracelets were using. And then they did this long section. And then this part down here is the netting. And the beaded bead clasp and the loop so again that's why I think a lot of this might have been made by the same person it all is a lot of it is starting to look like the same technique here's another uh, daisy chain piece but they used a bigger bead instead of the size 11 C bead, they put like the size, I think this is a size 8 or a size 6 C bead. Um, and just, this is like a sewing um, hook and eye. It's kind of weird to use that as a clasp for a piece of jewelry. Um, so that's probably going into the children's lot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't know. Um, what the heck is this? Yeah, that's going into crafting. I think it used to be a bracelet, but it's, yeah, it's falling apart. It, it's broken. That's crafts. This is crafts too. I don't like this cord. I just don't like how they finished it with these extra 
bits. It's just like they tied it into a knot and I don't know. Just fringe, bead fringe. Oh, this is macrame. So this is the one piece that is actual macrame. You know how at the beginning I said this was listed as beaded macrame? This is the actual only piece that's got macrame on it. <laughs> the rest is just sea bead jewelry. Um, but yeah, that's going into crafts. I just think it's not very well made. So this crafting or dress of jewelry lot is getting quite big. But again, you know, if you're into making your own pieces, this is a lot of beads. This is a lot of great supplies. So, you know, I'll cut you a deal. You're going to have to pay postage because I'm sure it's going to weigh a lot. Um, this pile is growing by the minute. But I'll cut you a deal on the, the actual price, which is some good supplies. Another nice bangle bracelet. Um, kind of fuchsia pink, yellow, and aqua. Ooh, see, that one I could get on. Don't know if I'll be able to get it off. <laughs> My big hand. Go. What's this? Piece of real jewelry. Must have got stuck. <laughs> Here's another little beaded bracelet. This is going to children's dress up. It's just like the CB daisy chain, some bugle beads. It's. I don't know. Here's a bangle bracelet. This is on wire. It's almost like memory wire, but they put it on a clasp. I don't know if I can get that on there. It's come on. Oh, it's a bangle bracelet. Just go on and off easily. Some of these other bracelets with the clasp. I feel like you need a third hand. <laughs> need a friend. Yeah, I got that on. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off. It's kind of cool. I'm stuck. Yep, I'm not going to be able to get this bracelet off. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Thinking going out later. <laughs> I live by myself. I was like, help. <laughs> uh, I'm going out later tonight. Um have to ask one of my friends, can you please help me get my bracelet off? Thank you. Um, this is nice, just plain turquoise beads, twisted. Uh, looks like it has a little button clasp. Let's see, this is quite a few of the twisted necklaces using the same sort of technique. How much do we have left? There, we're up to 43 minutes. I guess we'll keep going. I mean, I don't know. Should we dump it out? Let's dump it out. And so I'm gonna put the pieces I already said are going into craft back in so as not to get confused. Put all those in. Come on. Oops, got a couple of loose ones. So, I don't think I'll fill this jar back up. I'll have to find a smaller jug for my craft lot. And I was actually looking at my cat's treat boxes. They come in these little plastic containers with lids. And if you peel off the stickers, the labels, and then wash them up, they actually make a pretty good size for um, mailing. I think um, I'm going to look into that. And being plastic, I'm sure they'd be lightweight. This is a long bracelet on or necklace on stretchy cord. It's so long you could just fit it on your over your head. So I'm not quite sure why they put it on stretchy cord. That's straight into crafts. Um, oh yeah, now I'm coming to a whole big section of this stuff. These beaded, just single beaded strand, but they don't have clasps. It looks like you'd have to put a jump ring on one side and a clasp on the other. I'm not going to do that. To me, that's all crunchy looking. I would use this in other projects, so that's going into crafts. Let me see if I can pull a bunch of those out that are just like single, single strands of beads. I'm just putting them all into crafts. 
crafts, crafts, crafts. I see some of the YouTubers, everything they put into crafts, it's like a dollar each. No, I'm going to cut you an even better deal. It's going to be like, I don't know how much it's going to end up being. Like one, two, three pounds, four pounds, who knows. And it's going to be like bargain basement prices. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, there's just loads of it. And some of it have clasps and made into beads. But I just think a single strand of beads is, to me, not that interesting. I would just put that in crafts and maybe you can turn it into something else. Or, like I said, you can get the, this jug of crafts. Or Most of this is in fine condition. So your children might have a hoot and a holler playing dress up with this stuff. I know my kids used to like playing dress up. I'm sure I can find some... Pictures of my kids when they were younger when they play and dress up to really embarrass all their friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all gone into crafts. I think when my mom would come down for the holidays, um, I'm originally from Rochester, New York, and she still lives in um, upstate New York. She would often come down with bags of for store clothes and kids would have a blast, you know, old or maybe with some of her old clothes, I don't know, just like hats and mittens and scarves and vests and they just pile it all on and have a good old time. I don't know. I enjoyed the good old days when they're not everybody's not all having an electronic device on all the time. I was like, no, can you actually just go play without having to sit in front of a TV or video game all day? I don't even know what that's supposed to be with feathers and beads. Right into crafts. This one I probably throw out. Although these feel like metal beads, not glass seed beads. Um, maybe I could put this in the bag and put it into crafts. Don't really come across metal beads and I wonder if there could be silver, because I used to use sterling silver beads this size in some of my projects. I will have to find a baggie, put that to the side, and do further investigation. She just threw out $20 worth of sterling silver beads. <laughs> um, this is just the daisy chain, bugle beads. But again, it's it's uh, not as great quality as like this type of beaded bracelet so to me this should just go into crafts or or dress up um it's fine it's got the hook and eye but uh, not float my boat if you don't float my boat you go to crafts another one of these really fun um beaded bangle bracelets nice color kind of a corn flower blue green yellow aqua very nice okay this one i'm not putting on it's like the one I can't get off, <laughs> but it's got three of these hooks with the loops and some little dangly bits, but that would look nice. Well, I can do this without actually closing. So if you close it, it's going to be a little bit tighter, but because I can't get this off, that's all you're going to see. That's how you get <laughs> Um, yeah, so here's another one of these loom woven beaded bracelets using a solid color, color of bead, a single color of bead. Um, it's purple line clear, so it's kind of an interesting look. And it's got the same, the two loops, so it's adjustable, and the bead. So I'm think, thinking this is all made by the same person. I'm probably going to lot this style of bracelet into a lot. I might do the bangles as a lot. Um, you know, I'm doing the one, the four pieces of this one is a lot. So I think I'll just do lots rather than listing individual pieces. Oh, what kind of clasp, excuse me, what kind of clasp is this? Mm. Oh, there we go. So that's a nice secure clasp. Not sure about these little loops look like they're coming undone. Um, I'll have to get out some pliers and see if I can make those a little tighter. It's just uh, 
strands of black beads, but that could be fun. Or I might just put that in craft. Yeah, it's going into craft. That's the way I'm feeling today. Here's another beautiful loom woven bracelet. It's this really cool red and white floral pattern. And then they used aqua bugle beads on the edge. Um, see, I think, again, this is made by the same person because it's the same exact clasp with the loops and the little beaded beads. Really nice. Uh, here's another piece of what I consider more the traditional style of Native American beading. And it's going into crafts because it's falling apart. Oh, well. But see the, what is that, the phoenix bird. Um, and these colors, these opaque colors, like the red, white, blue, yellow, black. Um, and then this style of beading, to me, that's like the Native American style. That's a shame. This is a really nice, nice piece, but it's all falling apart. Oh, too bad. Oh, I really like this pattern. Look, really nice. Oh, well, or I could put it in shadow box and keep it. No, that's how you become a hoarder. <laughs> oh, so this is the same pattern that this person's been using, but, or I'm assuming it's the same person, but this one's on stretchy cord. I like that. See, that's more my style because it doesn't flop around once you've got it on. And look, I could get it off by myself. I don't have to wait until I go out in public. <laughs> Call 911. I'm stuck in the beads. I can't get them off. <laughs> uh, come on, you gotta laugh at yourself. You can't laugh at yourself. Uh, there you go. And I do have another... Um, baggy in my uh, spare closet that um, I started a children's jewelry lot. It's not CB jewelry, but it's a lot of the plastic and acrylic and just single strands of beads. Um, yeah, I got to decide. Am I going to do it as a craft lot or as a children's jewelry lot? Then I might be able to fill this bucket. That might be fun. I just put it both. It's like it's buyer's choice. If you want to some of these pieces are wearable. Some of them can be cut up and made into other pieces. Or just give this bucket to your kids and, you know, hours of fun. Here's another memory wire bracelet. This is the bigger C beads, like the, I think these are size 6 or what they call E beads. Just a kind of opaque white and some green, black, red. Running out of room. Ooh, I think I got some barrettes. Uh, let me see. Well, here's one pair, and I think I have a second pair. So, just like the little barrettes, you can buy these in any drugstore, these little snappy clips. And they did the daisy chain on it. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. This is black with uh, multicolor flowers. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Nice. I can't find the other one. So, this is just like uh, the bracelet I'm wearing. A uh, different color, but it's just wires. And it's got this little hook. So, that would look nice stacked together. I can't even get this hook undone with two hands. What the heck? There. See, I'm not going to close that one, but you get the idea. You could wear those together. Because, look, that part's the same exact color. That had to be made by the same person. Unless they're copycatting somebody. Don't do that. Uh, tiny sea beads, like the size 15. Uh... I should measure that. Maybe it's just because it's kind of this open work. It looks smaller. Oh, it's got the two loops. It's kind of a navy with a navy coating. Very nice. 
another memory wire bracelet with I think these are size eight or is that other bracelet see these are bigger so I think these are size six or e beads and I think these are size eight whereas the majority of these pieces are either using size 11 or size 15 see the different sizes Oh, this is just like that kind of navy AB bracelet I just showed you. This was kind of a amber colored, but the same pattern. And here's the same technique that we've seen in a lot of these pieces. Um, this kind of bronzy amber AB, light amber AB and dark amber AB. And then these pearlized size six beads with this little kind of netted fringe on either side. Very nice. And it's got the loops and the beaded beads. Oops. Oh, no. It's just got, I just thought because it was a wider piece, it was going to have two loops. Just got a single loop. Very nice. I'm getting close to the end. Another bracelet. And this is more of the traditional Native American style of beading. The colors, the pattern, kind of like a feather. Um, and it's the opaque seed beads, the turquoise, the white, black, red, yellow. Very cool. Yeah, here's another amulet bag. Mala. Guada. Oh. Guada Mala. <laughs> With a what is that a lizard? That's funny. <laughs> and then the little beaded neck chain. It's got this little loop so it actually opens. You could, you know, fold up a couple dollars. That's about it. I don't even think you could fit your key in here. Maybe. Tiny. Not sure. Is that a dinosaur, a lizard, a parrot? I'm not sure what it is. It is Guatemala. <laughs> Ooh, here's a nice netted necklace. Um, got the spring, wing, spring ring clasp. And yeah. Very nice. I don't know if I can get this on here. It's going to cover up this other one. Well, we'll do that for now. Almost done. Oh, here's a matching bracelet for this necklace. Well, one of the first pieces we unboxed. Here's a matching bracelet. It's the bronzy colored um, bead caps and clasp. And then just multiple strands of translucent amber and opaque kind of orangey red. But it matches this necklace. So I might do that as a lot. And just a few pieces to go. Oh, I see a lot of pieces are going into crafts. Crafts, crafts. Yeah, crafts, 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 crafts. Oh, this is going into crafts. Boom. Oops. Oh, here's a little seed bead earring. Uh, I don't think it has a match. That's too bad. Oh, I didn't find that other... Barrette? Yes, here it is. So I showed you the black barrettes earlier. Here's the same thing, just in white. So a white background and then the multicolor little daisy chain flowers on these little snappy barrettes.
Oh, what kind of match is that? What else? Let's see. Crafts. 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 Big mess. So, yep. Crafts. Oh, here's that same style of bracelet we saw in the navy and what was the other color? The amber. And here's a aqua with kind of lime green. So let's see. I've got three of those. Oh man. My last pieces, but it's all falling apart. This cord they used just feels like sewing thread. It's not like waxed. You know how there's like Nemo and silamide, silamide, fire line, it's all kinds of beading thread. This feels like regular sewing thread, so it's totally, totally disintegrating. That's unfortunate because somebody spent a lot of time. This is loom weaving. Some of those bracelets I was showing you. And then they've got all these loop embellishments. It looked like it was a nice piece at one time, but it's totally falling apart. Uh, that's a shame. And yeah, two more pieces. Another loom woven bracelet. Probably going into crafts. Again, I think this person did not use the right thread, did not make the right thread choice. Um, and what happens, these beads are glass, so even though they're smooth, you know, just from normal wear and tear, or there might be, you know, a bead or two with a sharp edge, it's just cutting, cutting through the thread. So crafts, and yeah, I'll put, probably put this in crafts. So that's it. That was my 5.4 pound mason jar lot of what Shop Goodwill was saying was beaded macrame jewelry. But besides that one piece I showed you, this is all sea bead jewelry, not beaded macrame jewelry. So I'm going to take a better look at the, these pieces after um, I finish this video and decide you know, how to lock this up on eBay or Etsy. And, but again, just reach out to me, sales at the Creative Cottage, if you see anything you're interested in. And that way I don't have to list it on eBay. It saves me time. <laughs> so again, this is Lynn Smythe from the Creative Cottage. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.